Welcome to Gate City Chronicles. I'm Kevin Avard, your host. And uh, today uh, we're going to uh, have a conversation with Miss Team New Hampshire. Yes, Miss ah, New Hampshire's team. Miss New Hampshire's team. Yes. <laughs> and uh, as our guest, and uh, I want to welcome Sienna Muccioli. Hello. Did I say that right? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, welcome to the show. Yes, thank you for having me. Yeah. So, Miss Team New Hampshire, what is that all about? Basically, we're a scholarship program, and I've been doing this ever since I was younger. I've actually, this is my fourth year competing in the organization. Mm -hmm. um, basically, what we do is we have something called a community service initiative, and we go up, and there's a bunch of different, they're called locals, and basically what we do is we compete against each other, and we have our community service initiatives. So what I do is I care for putting the UN UNICEF, which is what mine is called. So I work with UNICEF, which is the United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund, which is a really long name, mm, <laughs> and I work with right. them. And um, basically by doing this, we are bringing awareness to fundraising, whether whatever cause we are passionate about, and that's what I'm passionate about. Um, we actually have just a different how did you, series. How did that come to your, your um, vision? Why, how did you get involved with that? What made you choose that particular? I knew that I wanted to help children ever since I was younger because I was a victim of abuse. Mm -hmm. And something that was really important to me was making sure that no other child had to go through that, whether it was being abused or having malnutrition or really anything that involves children being in need. I wanted to make sure that I was working with UNICEF. Yep. That's something that I've been wanting to do for a really, really long time. And actually the past three years, I've been able to do so. So what kind of progress have you seen since you've been involved? I've actually, I am the youth ambassador for New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. So I have been working actually for the past three years as a youth ambassador. I was almost directly on board when I started working with UNICEF. Yeah. And basically, I mean, it's just been, it's been so good seeing the progress of children in New Hampshire. I go to Marguerite's Place and a bunch of different places to actually be able to help children. Um, Marguerite's work, Place is in Nashua? Yes, it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what I work it? with... Yeah, what, what does Marguerite's do? What? Marguerite's actually helps children who are in need and they don't have a home. They actually help their mothers as well. They give them education, really anything that they would need if they're in desperate need. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just a really great place. I work with Fun Savers as well, which is basically savers, the clothing chain yeah, yeah. and um basically dropped off many times in the oh, past oh yes yeah. <laughs> basically what i do for that is i work with unicef and with fun savers and with different places like marguerite's place i collect donations of clothing or really anything that people don't need anymore right. and i take that and 50 cents per pound goes to the charity of my choice so so far i actually have 2500 pounds of worth of clothing that i'm going to be in two weeks delivering to fun savers so i can see how much money that i get to donate to UNICEF. Interesting. So you're from Nashua. Yes, I am. Yes, yeah, so we've had uh, indiv individuals uh, come from Goffstown and other places. Uh, and so it's nice to see that Nashua is being represented. Yes, represent yeah. Nashua. <laughs> and so you grew up here in Nashua. Yes. Great. And uh, so uh, are, are you still in school? Yes, so I'm going into my junior year of high school. Okay. I actually, I go to school in Manchester, though. I don't go to school in Nashua. Ah. So, yeah, <laughs> right. still it's... represent Nashua, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I go to the Founders Academy. It's a charter school, okay. and it's basically like a history school. That's why it's called the Founders Academy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, I've been going there since I first started high school. But my sister, actually, and my brother went to Nashua. So, so there's a charter school that focuses on history. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, I actually, I didn't go there to focus on history. I went there to focus on the arts because I want to continue, mm. I mean, doing the arts later on in life. Right. I actually am at the Palace Theater, so I do theater. I've been doing theater there since my freshman year of high school. And I mean, it's something that is so important to me. and I want to just, like I said, just keep doing it. Mm -hmm. So that's why I went to that school because I heard that there was a great arts program and there really is a great arts program. Sure. So I'm glad I'm there. Yeah. We recently put on, uh, we were talking off camera yes. about <laughs> the Music Matter event that yes. uh, we put on and uh, that was actually for a charter school. Really? Yeah. There's a charter school in Salem, which is uh, its foundation or its, its main purpose is music. I actually went there for a few. Yeah, yes. and, and so that um, the, the the children there that are participating get to own their own instruments. That's really and, great. Yeah, I, I think uh, that's the whole concept of it. So they own their own instruments, and uh, they take ownership to it. And it, 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 there's something magical about that. I don't know what it is, but when you uh, can identify with a, a way that you can express yourself, whether it's in 
uh, musicals or whether it's playing an instrument or, or some form of art, uh, it can bring out a, a different part of your character, which mm -hmm. uh, you can focus on and have a certain identity that yes. uh, is positive, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so the Palace Theater, so that must be fun. Yes, yeah. it's really fun. I'm a part of their teen company and I do Palace Youth Theater as well. Mm -hmm. We have two different companies, so it's called Palestine Apprentice Company and Palestine Company. I was in Palestine Apprentice Company for three semesters because we have different trimesters. We have fall, winter, and spring. Mm -hmm. And I actually moved up last spring to be able to be in Teen Co. and we put on Chicago. So that was really? a fun show. Oh, that was that, a really fun show. That's fun. I've done a few yes. musicals my, in, up in the Concord area. And uh, we, we put on some plays, uh, Annie, and um, fun. just a whole fun, you know, a bunch of things. That but was... uh, there's something very addicting about uh, doing uh, mm -hmm. musicals. We, we do like Broadway reviews and mm. uh, yeah, we've done <laughs> a lot of those. Uh, and, uh, but I can, I can relate to that quite a bit. And uh, it's, it is a fun way of uh, uh, being part of the community yes. and uh, expressing yourself. So once you graduate, what do you, what do you plan on going? I have a few colleges in mind. I really, right now I want to go to Berkeley because I want to focus on music. And mm -hmm. then I know they also have a great dance program as well and just theater in general. And I mean, I do want to continue with theater because it's something that I really, really love. And I've always loved, I mean, actually you saying Annie sparked something in me because that was my first show that I oh, ever was did. It? Yeah. I was Miss Hannigan. So oh, no. I, was, I sang Hey Dapper Dan. Oh, oh really? Oh, oh, yeah. man. That, I, was, I was in third grade when I did that yeah. and that sparked my love for theater and I want to just I want to do this for the rest of my life and that's why I'm so glad being Miss New Hampshire's teen because of the amount of scholarships that I get and mm -hmm. being able to also just being with public speaking in general like speaking to you and then speaking to massive crowds and being able to sing the national anthem every weekend. Right. It's something that trains me and something that has really helped me grow as a person and I know that that will definitely help for college as well. Really? So uh, tell me a little bit more about the history of the, of the, the school itself. Where, where is it located, that, that um, charter school? It's in Manchester, you said? Yes, it's in Manchester. And a lot of students there? Or? We don't have a lot of students. I believe we've been there for around eight years. Mm. I've only been, this is my third year. Yeah. Um, and you like it? Yes, I do like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you like about it? I think I like the fact that it is kind of smaller. I mean, I would have loved to go to a bigger school and I was actually thinking about it in the summer. I was like, oh, what would it be like if I went to a bigger school? But I think it's nice to be able to be in a smaller environment, but at the same time have people that you know and really you kind of know everybody. Right. Um, but I just, I think it's nice because it's more relaxing to me just in general, because I feel like it would be a lot if there were more people. I mean, regardless, I feel like it would be good for me to be in a school with more people, but I do really like the fact that there isn't too many people in the school. I mean, we have our school from fifth to 12th grade, so that's right. a lot of just middle school and high school just in general. And I feel like you really build relationships um, I mean, specifically for me, I have this girl who I consider like a little sister to me in seventh grade. And yeah. it's just, it's a really good environment to be into just general charter schools. I mean, I've gone to charter schools since I was, I believe, in the eighth grade. I went to ASD and then I went to Granite State Arts Academy and then I ended up at Founders. And, and you like it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The arts program really is what kind of stuck with me, though, because, I mean, music and just everything about theater in general, I absolutely love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you're telling a story. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and basically history is, is a story. Yes. Yeah. And uh, uh, I, I, do they focus on any particular type of history? Is it is it uh, world history, ancient history? We actually have different history courses. So last year I took world history, and mm -hmm. this time I'm taking president history. Okay. So we are able to learn about different types of history um, worldwide, really. I mean, there's a bunch of different history classes. There's a lot of history teachers, yeah. well, which, I, I mean, one would expect at a history charter school, but it's it's a really nice environment. I mean, I like learning about history. It is one of my favorite subjects other than being in chorus or theater just in general. Yeah, well, when it comes to public speaking, if you have a, uh, a good knowledge of what uh, other people have spoken about or right. mm -hmm. have an understanding of, of certain uh, periods of time, you can uh, incorporate that into your speech, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, so, definitely. <laughs> so, yeah, Berkeley, uh, are you... Uh, putting out the feelers already and you're a junior now for yes yeah. <laughs> i 
I think it's just hit me recently this summer that I'm a junior and mm -hmm. I have to start thinking about that. It's not to my senior year until I have to start doing auditions for different schools. But um, I mean, <laughs> I, I've been looking into schools recently because it's important. And I was just like, it's crazy to me being a junior. It feels like I was just in my freshman year. It's time is flying by really fast. Yeah, we have a college student at home now. She's a junior in college. And it's, mm -hmm. you know, the first year was all tears. You know, uh, <laughs> you know, and then uh, a couple of years later, it's like, OK, this is old hat now. But it's amazing how uh, she went from a junior in high school to a junior in college. Time yeah. goes by fast. I think it's gone by especially fast because of COVID. Yeah. And I mean, it was by a little bit towards the middle and the end of COVID when I was in my freshman year. But I still think that is really what changed things, because I mean, like I said, now I'm a junior and it feels like time has just completely flown by. Yeah. So if you apply to Berkeley, are they going to require you to play an instrument as well? I'm not necessarily sure, but I do play instruments. Oh. I actually play the bass guitar. I play acoustic guitar and electric guitar. And then I play a little bit of piano. Are you a Taylor Swift fan? A little bit. I'm not a huge Taylor Swift. I'm not a huge Swifty. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> a lot of my friends are really huge Swifty, <laughs> yeah. so I feel pressured to say that I'm a Swifty. But I do like Taylor Swift's music. But yeah. I'm just not, she's not my favorite artist. Okay. She Who, is really good, though. Who's your favorite artist? I like Queen a lot. I mean, I like really, really, I mean, like, yeah, that comes as a shock. Um, I like older I'm not, bands. I, I'm, no judgment here. This is a judgment free zone here. That's good. Yeah. I mean, I went to a Queen concert in 2019, actually right before COVID actually happened. But Queen and just in general, I just really like music back from like the 70s and 80s. I was just talking to a friend about that just the really? other day. Yes. Uh, Queen, uh, maybe uh, the Eagles, um, the Beatles. Mm -hmm. One thing about their music, if you notice their time period where it starts off with one rhythm right. and it changes to a different rhythm mm -hmm. and then another rhythm. And it's like, oh, there's so many different dynamics with the music back then. Right. Instead of just, you know, this one yeah. one layer of, 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 which is good, you know, but they're, uh, they tell a story and uh, they yes. captivate you. And mm -hmm. did you see the movie? I did see the movie. What would you think? I liked the movie. I think... It showcased a lot of different things that I wasn't expecting. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it was my favorite movie for a really long time. Have you seen Across the Universe? I have not. Do you know what it's about? Not necessarily. I feel uh, like I've heard of it before. Okay, Across the Universe is, <laughs> is um, it's like a musical, but using Beatles songs. Oh, well, that's good. And that's what good. it shows in be, being a historian or you know going to a school with history, mm -hmm. it shows in a very artistic way, uh, the beginning of their music hmm. in a storyline. And it shows how our culture or the culture of that day mm -hmm. changed along with the music. Right. Mm -hmm. And I went and saw that in the theater uh, in Manchester, mm -hmm. uh, or, or was it Hooks It, a few years back. And there were some adults my age, and then there were some teens that were in the audience. And I thought it was rather interesting what we laughed at and right versus the teen viewers <laughs> did not mm -hmm. compute and i thought yes. wow this is a very artistic um way of presenting music but across the universe i bet you like it i'll have to watch it yeah i think you might really like it and uh, i know mom's in the audience she, she would like it too yeah right? i'm sure she would yeah so <laughs> she's a big part of this too isn't she yes she's the one who uh, brought you here and uh, or yes. part of your fan club and taking pictures as we talk yep, taking pictures every day <laughs> yeah and, which every is a blessing second of every day right? yes it's mm -hmm. a huge blessing so uh how involved was mom with with all this very involved um she's been kind of the person who has been i mean getting me interview practice helping me pick out my talent for what i'm gonna do for nationals really just I mean, she's my chauffeur. She's the one who drives me everywhere because I don't have my license yet. So it's kind of like she's always there with me, which is really great. And especially like you were just saying, taking pictures, mm -hmm. just being there all the time is something that is just really great for me. It's a really good bonding experience for us. Yeah. I've talked to other Miss New Hampshire's and Miss New Hampshire's teens about their moms being their chauffeurs or even their dads being their chauffeurs. And it's just it really does have a close bond because I feel like I've spent more time with my mom just this year than I ever have because I've been so busy. But being able to be Mr. Hampshire's teen and going everywhere with her is something that is really, really
really great. So she's not proud of you? Oh, she's definitely proud of me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's definitely yeah. proud. I mean, my sister was Miss New Hampshire as well, so okay. she, she asked to be proud. I oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, no, yeah. no pressure there, huh? No, no pressure. So what's your sister doing now? My sister's in Ohio right now, so I, I don't know exactly what she does, but I do know that she's in Ohio and not New Hampshire anymore. Mm -hmm. But my sister actually just visited me last week, and it was really nice because I haven't seen her in a long time. Yeah. But she was one of my biggest supporters as well. Sure. When I won Miss New Hampshire's teen, I was watching the video because we have a video of the final night, and all I could hear was her screaming. <laughs> oh, is that <laughs> right? Same thing for my mom, though, yeah. but my mom was more so crying. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, you have a great support system there, right? Yes. Um, and uh, well, what did your sister run on? Uh, what, what type of uh, uh, benefits did she support? Do you remember? My sister, I feel like just me growing up and seeing her be Miss New Hampshire, because I was four-ish. I mean, so mm -hmm. I was at the time where it was like, I didn't have too many memories from back then, but I still remember certain key mm -hmm. things. But I think seeing her as Miss New Hampshire and falling in love with the program way back then is something that I, I just really cherish yeah. because this has really changed my life. And I will say that because of the fact that I would not be where I am today if I didn't have this organization. And it's just my sister, I mean, she's helped so much. She's done basically the same things like my mom. My mom has just been in New Hampshire, but my sister has done as much as she possibly can while she's out of state as well. Yeah. So uh, Marguerite's places, are there other places like uh, that, that you're engaged with, um, like the front door? I don't know if you've ever heard of the front door. I've not heard of the front door, but I do work with Bridges. Bridges, okay. Bridges is actually the place where my mom and I went to when we were in our abuse situation. Mm -hmm. They helped us a lot. So we always make sure that we give back to them as well. Mm -hmm. And for a while I had my so my community service initiative as helping bridges as well but just in general I chose UNICEF because I can help everyone so I'm not just focusing on bridges or just focusing on Marguerite's place UNICEF is worldwide and worldwide and yeah. um, basically just being the youth ambassador for New Hampshire and being able to help bridges and help Marguerite's place place is just it's really nice being able to do that. But um, yeah, Marguerite's Place and Bridges and just Fun Savers and just there's so many places that keep getting added on. And I am glad that you actually brought that up because now I will look for the front door. Yeah, the front door. I think they're on Concord Street, 7 Concord yeah. Street. So the Palace Theater, uh, I know that they do a lot of nonprofit events every year. Uh, are you engaged in any of those at all or do you? Yeah, so there's a lot of times where we are engaged in the nonprofits. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've only been here since my freshman year, so it's just gradually I've been getting more and more involved with the palace. And um, I actually do a lot of ushering for the palace as well yeah. when we are given the opportunities. We're because there are occasionally some comedy shows where we're allowed to do ushering for. But there are a lot of times where we work for nonprofits and a bunch of different things. Like we actually did one of the 5K walks. Um, I believe during December, during mm. the Christmas time, I believe it was 5K. I don't remember exactly, but I was a part of that as well. Right. Mm. And you've also done work at the Rex, you said. Yes. At the Rex, which is part of the Palace Theater. Mm -hmm. uh, they're both kind of quaint, actually. Uh, the Palace is a little bit bigger, it seems. Yeah. The Rex is actually really nice, too, as well, because in my company, in Teen Company and in Palestine Apprentice Company, during our winter semesters, we actually do shows there. Yeah. So, because I think our space is being used by some other people whenever we're doing the shows or it's just convenient, but it's a really nice space, especially since our rehearsal area that we actually had was flooded. So <laughs> when we were doing camps, I was a junior counselor this summer and right. we used the palace and the Rex to be able to hold auditions and do a bunch of different dance classes and everything. One thing I like about the Rex is they get this big, huge screen in the back and you can, uh, yeah. when, when you're performing you can have something playing in the background yep. which is kind of cool right mm -hmm. yeah so a little bit of smaller space i mean they don't have a lot of uh dressing room but it's no i mean even though <laughs> even though the backstage area is kind of small i still i still really like the stage i mean i was kathy selden and singing in the rain mm -hmm. so that's the place that we used for it and it was just it was really really nice place are you a to singer use. too yes yeah yes i am i've been singing since I was four, and I've been dancing since I was three. Well, I know you said you did the national anthem, so I, yes. I guess I could yes. assume that you, you yep. sing as well. That's my talent for Miss New Hampshire Steen. Yeah, so do you sing anything from Queen? I haven't sung anything <laughs> from Queen yet, and I was almost toying with singing a version of Bohemian Rhapsody mm. at one point, because I know that the person that I actually use for tracks as well has a track of Bohemian Rhapsody, and I was like, oh, maybe Try I'll do this. Do you do karaoke? 
Occasionally, yeah. yeah. I have. I mean, I do karaoke with my friends. Yeah. <laughs> so whenever my friends come over, we do, I mean, either different roles we want to play, our favorite singers, and, you know, I sing a lot. I sing all day, every day. My mom will be like, Sienna, you're singing so loud. She can hear me from my room. Does your mom sing? My mom doesn't sing, but I think believe my grandmother's aunt did my yeah. mom my mom's side of the family i mean there's a few people but um I, my sister was involved with theater so that's kind of how i got involved because she i believe she recommended to my mom to start doing theater and then that's when i auditioned for my school's musical did you do dance class in nashua i because uh, i know jen i think her name is jen uh, she has a dance uh, yes I th- right off of uh the pine street extension area yeah i believe I might have when I was younger. I'm trying to think. I've done, I know the studios I've been to were the dance company. Mm-hmm. I've been to, I was at Dance Visions for a really long time. And there was a few other ones that I can't necessarily remember, but I'm sure I did. So do you go out with, uh, as far as Eunice, I mean, obviously you're doing the uh, um, savers and, and whatnot, but do you have any sponsors that, that sponsor you at all? Yeah, we have a bunch of different sponsors for Miss New Hampshire Steen. It's actually really nice. Um, we had an eyelash sponsor. So, I mean, I have Who, my fake that? eyelashes on. Um, I don't remember her name right okay. now. Do you I have, have any names that you want to drop and give them credit for, seeing how you're on television? Now that I am on television. I think just in general, all the sponsors that we have are really important and they really make up the program because the amount of donations that we get from them are, is really crucial. Right. And I mean, just in general, the sponsors that I've already been with have also contributed to my fund savers, which has really helped children in need just in general. Right. But I think just the sponsors, all of them have done a really big part in helping. Mm, great. So I guess uh, we're getting close to the end of our interview. So anything that uh, you want to encourage uh, young ladies to get involved in this type of, um, uh, you know, uh, Miss New Hampshire, Miss Teen? Yeah, I think it's really important. It's a really good environment to be a part of. I mean, like I said, I've been doing this for years. I met so many, so many lifelong friends. Mm -hmm. Um, It's really about the sisterhood, being able to have friends and just be with each other in the moment because you're all going through the same thing. We start in locals, then you go to Miss New Hampshire's teen, and then if you win Miss New Hampshire's teen, you go to nationals. And I think specifically for me, when I won Miss New Hampshire's teen, there's so many of the formers who were there for me. I mean, after we have like a little after party where we have cupcakes and we take photos. And it was just, it was a really nice experience for me because I saw what they have done and then I've gotten tips from them and just really everything. It's just a continuation of the program. And I think Getting involved is really important because then you can also get involved with something that you love. You can showcase your talent. You can, I mean, whether you're singing, dancing, you can even speak. You can do a bunch of different things. You can play an instrument. Mm -hmm. Showcasing your talent and being able to speak on stage is something that can help, like I said, with college, can help with a bunch of different things. It's just a really good place to kind of practice what you want to do. Um, Talk to other people, do interviews. You can practice even for job interviews. It's just... I think it's really beneficial, and so I think it's developing your yourself and, and self esteem. Yes. Uh, yes. You know, it's not uh, hey, look, I'm pretty. That type yeah, of thing. it's it's, more, it's not it's not a beauty pageant. Right. It's not just about how you look. I mean, being presentable is really important, but it is it's not about how you look. It's not even just about the scholarship dollars, which is we are a scholarship organization. That's a really really big part. It's just about the community in general. Mm-hmm. I feel as though, like I said, sisterhood is we have five points of the crown now and sisterhood is the biggest point and i think that that's the most important what are all five points sisterhood scholarship style success service there another one okay i can't Five. count <laughs> <laughs> i was thinking in my head i was like oh no did i forget one no <laughs> all right good uh <laughs> if somebody wants to get uh, involved with that where do they go you can actually sign up for a local competition. We actually have a Miss New Hampshire's teen page and we have a bunch of different scholarship organizations above that. Um, I started off by doing different local competitions like Miss Capital Area, Miss Liberty. I did Miss Gate City and Nashua. We have a bunch of different locals. We have so many. I believe this year we're crowning 26 teens. Wow. And we've, the past few years, I believe it was anywhere from 24 to 26. Mm-hmm. But you can just get involved by even just looking up your town. Okay. Seeing where you are eligible to be. Um, and just, I mean, it's it's really easy to get involved. I mean, my mom could find it on Facebook. So if their moms want to find it, they can do that too. You can look on the Instagram pages. And even just looking up Mr. Hampshire's teen, there are so many people that I have talked to and highlighted and 
you can just get involved through there. Are you going to nationals? Yes, you are. I am. Mm-hmm. And you know that for sure. I know that for sure. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so what's that going to be like? What are you thinking? I honestly have no idea. I'm just I'm look, really looking forward to again being able to showcase my talent because we have a new thing where it's actually a bunch of talent judges coming in for your talent, which I'm really excited about. So. I'm looking forward to the experience being able to talk to other girls from other states because I've never really done that before. I mm -hmm. mean, I've gone to other states, but I've never been able to build friendships with girls from California or girls yeah. from different, just really different places. But I'm looking forward to it. Don't know when it is, but I'm really excited. Well, good. Well, thanks for coming on the show and for yes. sharing this. Thank you for having and, me. And uh, encouraging others. Uh, you know, if there are some people out there that want to get involved, they just have to look up. Miss Teen New Hampshire? Miss New Hampshire's Teen. Miss you New can Hampshire's actually, teen. on Instagram, you can look up Miss America's Teen NH, and that's what my Instagram handle is. And I believe the same thing for Facebook as well, and also the same thing for TikTok if you want to use TikTok. <laughs> and that's how they can get involved. Yes. Yeah. Well, wonderful. <laughs> well, thank you for coming on the show. Yes. Thank I you for having it. me. And good luck on, on the Nationals. Thank Be you. Be nice if the uh, Nashville won. Yes. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Nashville represent. Yay, yeah, girl. Right. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching Gate City Chronicles. I'm Kevin Avard, your host. And if you want to come on the show and, and showcase what uh, you have here locally or, or statewide, we'd love to have you hear your story. Uh, until then, thanks for watching.